It's a real plant percent of what's all right. Now, here we are. I'm, look, I'm standing in summer interest. See, so we're looking at what we've got for summer interest. We could also be looking at a maritime sort of situation. And what I find here, just by way of... There you go, that's our bracket lot of sunshine there. Just showing, showing it that you've been retailed here. Then here, these chapters are on here, from there down to here, these are all different types of cistus. Right? Cistus known as the sun roses. Not rock roses, sun roses. Right? Now, this is a big group of plants, so we've really got time to look at just one example of the genus. Now, these are tricky. All the cistus are very good by the season. They're all evergreen shrubs. They all have lovely flowers. They look rather like tissue pots and they're rounded with a central gloss of yellow. And the flower colours go from purple to pink to white. But what you've got to be careful about with cistus is whether they're going to be hard. They're all good by the seaside, but they're not all really good here in Worcestershire. I picked out the hardest one, which is... There you go. Right on there, have I picked out the right one? There we go. Now I've got the full name for you on the list. Number 49, Cistus Cross Argentius, referring to the sort of silvery nature of the foliage, and it's called Silver silver pink describing the flower, which is a lovely sort of silvery pink colour. So I just let them have their laser light. Yes, there's a little bit of red <coughs> in there, that's right. Nice little bit of red at the top there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have a look at them folks, you've got a fairly hairy leaf on the underside, smooth on the top, and can't get it this morning, but you know how they talk about essential oils coming off plants? The cistus are really good for that. If you look at them maybe in July when it's really hot, when I used to work for uh, ICI at Bracknell, they had a load of these in the courtyard, and lovely essential oils used to come off, giving you that sort of Mediterranean feel. The flowers are really good, they're very bright, What's the snack? They drop, they drop. It's very quick. You're lucky really if you get a fortnight's flower from them. So very transitory, but very bright. Silver pink, I picked out because it's one of the hardiest. What other thing? How would you use it? It's what sort of situation? Good warm, Yes, nice. All those sort of things. Excellent, yes. Any other ideas? Pizza. Any other ideas? How would you use the system? Would it be good in your would it be good in your chalk garden? Of course it is. It's, um, of course it is, you see? They're, they're just they're really good tough shrubs. I mean the only thing is they're not they're not long lived. No. That's the downside of them. They hate shade. Yeah. Um, but if it's open and sunny, it's well drained, very poor soil, they take virtually no water in whatsoever, they're passive disease free. Um, you just bung them in and walk away and forget them. They're, Did you hear all that? They're folks? just easy. Bung them in and forget them, right? Hot, dry, extremely alkaline, very, very dry. They just retired by saying thank you very much. And they power like video, but as Peter said shortly, can you prove them back to shape? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mine, mine tend to recover. Mine mm. Tell us more, yeah. tell us more. Well, you, you don't just do it haphazard. I mean, normally, oh. uh, normally doing about sort of April, early May. Yeah. Um, and I normally, what I normally do is, I t if I need to rejuvenate, I take it down in stages. Oh. I take it down so you've got, you're got you leaving some leaves, some growth on it. Leaving quite, some leaves on it. And then quite often it will break further down and then I just take it back once they've established themselves. All right, folks, so there, that was very good what Peter said there. These things, if you're, if you're employing somebody else to prune them, if it's a jobbing gardener, I would say ask them to leave them alone. If it's you or a, a garden, somebody's garden, one like this, you see, I think I'd be happy to prune it, say, down to there, Peter, yeah? Where the leaves are still yeah. on it. But if it was a really big one, I wouldn't then go into the old wood where there's no leaves, because mm. nine times out of ten they won't break. Once they got to that condition, you're better off 
Having said that, they're planted extensively around the Asda where I work at night. Yes, definitely. Yeah, the Asda I work at night, they're planted extensively and they're actually treated, uh, treated by um, using hedge trimmers. They're all pruned, everything is pruned by hedge trimmers. Yeah, yeah. And they go quite hard deep there, wood, and they break. Mm -hmm. So they work well. It's surprising, it is surprising, I'm surprised at that. And the other thing I would say, that use these, but they're not the hardest things in the world. Maybe your Asda's a bit, it's a nice warm Asda, the situation, and it still comes through the winter all right. Yeah. It's yeah. surprising. But what but they have done is, where it's a stepped side, it's a sloping side, yeah. there's gabions, stone filled gabions, yes. yeah. and they're actually planted, so you've got like mini microclimates all the way around. You see folks, so a little bit of craftiness there using them and I would say again if you're doing a Mediterranean garden or a gravel garden or anything hot, dry and sunny these are nice and I've just introduced you to one but you might like to sort of peruse the books and see because some lovely plants in there aren't there? That Peggy, is that Peggy Salmon that yeah. one? Yeah. That's lovely soft pink. And I've just lost one of that. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. My favourite Soretti yeah, it's a little tiny miniature one with a pure white flower, very small flower, very sticky. Not the easiest thing to grow. I mean, I've just lost mine after eight years. Wait, eight years. Better have got babies coming on, so it's okay. All right. <laughs> See how we love our plants, don't we, folks?